It seems everybody loves this stage. Well, you know, minus a few characters. It's got a cute little sun island. It's got a cute little moon island. Uh, it's got this guy and a nice cardboard aesthetic to tie it all together. But as melee players are well familiar, even the things we love can have problems. And Yoshi's story is no exception. Let's begin our journey with a look into the cloud, or as melee players call him, Randall. Among melee's competitive stages' respective hazards, Randall is probably the least contentious of them all. For one, he's entirely predictable, consistently emerging from the stage when this last digit reaches four, on the left when this other digit is even, and on the right when it's odd. Particularly mindful players can use this to their advantage, stalling in the air long enough to recover onto it, or surviving a spike by DI'ing toward it. Though in a game as fast-paced and frantic as Melee, keeping track of the timer is something pretty rare, tough for even good players. Second, Randall is only kind of fucked up. You can do a roll from ledge not onto the stage, but onto him if you time it correctly, which looks pretty weird. But you can also throw people into the stage using him, which I guess is hardly even notable anymore. It's cooler here though, because you can take a ride on Randall while you're doing it. It is pretty rough to get it though, requiring extremely precise timing on either side of the stage, often only a one or two frame window depending on the thrower and throwee. My theory on why this works has to do with collision boxes and throw releases. When you're throwing an opponent, your opponent's collision box is frozen until they're either freed prematurely or thrown. When the animation is completed, the game runs a check from your position to your opponent's. If there's nothing solid between you two, the throw continues as usual. However, if obstructed by, say, a wall, the game corrects your opponent's position to prevent them from clipping through a solid object. The correction being simply moving them over a bit on the x-axis, where their trajectory continues as normal. Okay. But if your throw animation doesn't complete as normal, Show me a such as by getting pushed off of a certain cloud, this check normally done at the end of the animation never occurs. And thus, if timed well, players can be released into the stage without worry of this check ever occurring. <clears throat> Asterisk. What's really cool is that while you're in here, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can attack, you can taunt, you can kill yourself, you can jump back through the stage, and if the stars align, you can do a cool new form of stalling. Now, there is another stage hazard on Yoshi's story that is less desirable. The Shy Guys. These guys are said to cause mischief, and they do. Normally, Shy Guys carry around various food items for players to heal with, but in tournament, where items are disabled, they instead just fly around and fuck shit up. They're known for their infamous Shy Guy DI, Oh, the oh, shy guy yeah. Extending the duration of hitboxes. Not yet, anyway. Looking for another aerial, and the shy guys say hello! And their most depressing yeah, act of mischief, making Duck retire. There, there, oh, 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 it's shy guys! Shy guys, the forces of nature are protecting shy Johnny! Shy guys, <laughs> cock blocking your boy, man. That was so dumb. Oh, Doug, that was, oh, he gets oh. the knee and that's actually it. Oh, oh he did the fist yeah. bump with the no, he did the no, eye con eyes, the no bro, eye contact fist said. bump. That really was the last time Duck entered a tournament seriously, by the way. Let's hone in on Shy Guy DI for a moment though. Weird looking, huh? But like, what is even happening? Well, after you're thrown in melee, a hitbox is generated around you for a number of frames, depending on your percent. If, while you're in this state, you collide with something that has a hurt box, like a player, certain blocks, or shy guys, both the thing you collided with and you are placed in hit lag, a frozen state that normally occurs after you're hit by a move. Now, my guess is that because you're both in hit stun 
and in hit lag, the game treats you as if you are just hit by an attack, and allows you to input DI because of this. Now, if you're in hit stun long enough, and there are enough hitboxes to collide with to continue iterating on the initial throw's trajectory, such as giant packs of Shy Guys, things can get really strange, as you're being given multiple opportunities to DI a single throw's knockback, on top of any SDI inputs you might do on each Shy Guy collision. Note that this reliance on having a hitbox interact with hurtboxes is why Shy Guy DI doesn't affect players simply being attacked into them. Regular attacks don't cause players to be knocked back with a hurtbox, only throws do. Segway. Remember that other stage I talked about with the fucked up ledge? The one that allows players to be battlefielded, or not grab the ledge when it seems like they should've? It's a bit of a misnomer, you see, because getting battlefielded isn't exclusive to Battlefield. In fact, it's not even the only legal stage it can happen on. If you'll recall from my Battlefield video, ledges with too much space immediately beneath them can sometimes cause players' ledge grab boxes to go slightly beyond grabbable ledges. When this happens, players are prevented from grabbing the ledge, leading to some questionably taken stocks. This same extended ledge that exists on Battlefield exists too on Yoshi Story, but to a lesser extent, making getting Battlefielded possible but occur far less often. Though the dreaded occurrence does still raise some question marks over the heads of even the best players. Here's a clip of Zane getting Battlefielded in Tournament, for example. Jump counter. The same iteration. Oh! oh. oh. I was gonna say, never mind. Just underneath these janky ledges, though, are my personal favorite quirks of the stage. See these little protrusions? They're not just for show, they're actually interactable parts of the stage's geometry. And these little bumps are the cause of many weird deaths and interactions. Couldn't get much, though, Mike, with the good DI. Off stage now, though. Oh, <laughs> the slot! That was sick. He got the slot! <laughs> oh no! It, right in the slot. The Randall's home hit the spot. Woo. Though for years, many have attributed these strange happenings to the slots Randall emerges and exits from. A misconception dating back to ancient times, when the phenomenon was tastefully known as Randall slot r Oh. In truth, these slots do nothing at all, and have no actual collision of their own. Also worth noting is that Randall doesn't even really come out of them. He more so pops out in and out of the stage near them. These interactions happen when a player is sent flying directly into the upward or downward slope of these protrusions, and are actually quite rare due to how small these bumps are. Additionally, because these bumps are positioned deeper toward the center of the stage than the ledge itself, you can't just meteor someone grabbing ledge to bounce them off. In my experience, it's much easier and more common to get these weirdo ricochets off of the underside of the ledge, partly due to how much larger they are. Oh, that oh, was wow. What? Wow. That was Though I guess that's not so much these protrusions as it is the same ledge that allows battlefielding to occur. Finally, here are a few rapid-fire oddities you can do on this stage. You can do this by holding the stick toward the ledge while riding Randall. Bowser has a great, simple ledge jump no impact land on this stage, making him actionable far sooner than other characters jumping from ledge. Another plus for him on Yoshi's Story. While you're on these little slants near the ledge, you can angle some moves a bit lower, allowing characters to catch otherwise safe recovery options. These slants also allow Fox to get 22 semi-actionable invincibility frames with a series of extremely difficult inputs, an impressive leap from his already impressive 16-frame ledge dash galint high score. And both Marth and Youngling gain a fully invincible ledge stall on Yoshi's, also due to these slants at the end of the stage. I'm assuming. And that is all, probably. Well. There is, in fact, one more interesting aspect of this stage that was discovered in 06. 
but its name is a little risque. I'll tell you what it is, though. I'll tell you. It's called the nasty fucking sh- Big thank you to Corrit, Cooper C, Dubs Rewatcher, Grarlick, GR Smash, Harpo Dog, I Don't Even Play Melee, I'm the Real Slayer, John, John B, John L, Josiah B, Katharg, Lamb's Respite, LRC Napkin, Matthew B, Moa, Pierce H, P Jiggles, PM Casey, Sega Monkey, Self Die Man, Shep Have You Tried Meditation, Soleil Suyon, Storm, The Big Bino, Turn Down for Walt, Wyverin, and Yashichi.